keeping a veterans memorial where it is and saving historic Charleston. And that's what some Somerville natives are hoping to do in response to the redevelopment plan for the town headquarters that's been in the works for a few years now. Anna Harris spoke with these neighbors and a county official on where their frustration comes from and what the county is planning to do about it. 500 North Main Street is the centralized hub for Dorchester County and is set to be redeveloped into offices, a hotel, housing and more. The traffic is already at gridlock. It's going to create a lot more traffic problems. The site is also home to this Veterans Memorial. One native says his immediate family has a total of 135 years in active service combined. And I think that should count for something. It's, it's not we are not unique. There are lots of families. The main building was also once the old Somerville Hospital. My father died here in 1942 when I was six years old. And uh, people who work here should, should be remembered. Dorchester County says they have no intention of demolishing the Veterans Memorial, but it could move to a different location on the property. And looking around at Somerville, and putting this memorial at a preeminent location where it can be seen, they don't put it in the middle of the road in the middle of a block, because you don't see that. Chenna says this site is in the tax increment financing district where leftover tax dollars will go towards improvements. He says it's essentially like development paying for itself. He says the total revenue should be about $59 million in the next 15 years with the new plan. I asked him about his response to the preservation concerns. Sometimes you have to look a little bit more deeply at what you've said in the past and understand that it applies to everyone. You don't get excluded from your own comments. Chenna says now that they've accepted a developer, that developer now has to build a new building for the offices located in here. He says there's no specific timeline as of right now of when this whole project will be completed. In Somerville, Anna Harris, Live 5 News.